Back, you are watching 10 Tampa Bay at 5 o'clock. They are a common fixture in our waterways, derelict and abandoned boats, big and small. Big problem for local and state law enforcement, as well as waterfront businesses and the owners out there. 10 Tampa Bay's Adiria Chumba explains more issues are adding to the problem, and now Florida Fish and Wildlife is cracking down. We have such a problem here in Cortez, and I would say also Bradenton Beach, with these boats that end up being left behind by their owners. From the dock of her longtime Cortez fishing business, Karen Bell can count up to 30 derelict and abandoned vessels, each a potential hazard not only for her fishing boats, but also for recreational boaters and vessels going to and fro. The captains here are mostly very seasoned on the water, so they deal with it by just going very slowly, watching out for the anchor line that's spread all over the place and just literally going around the boats. Extreme weather often amplifying the problem. And Ian, a big, huge sailboat, tore down a neighbor's dock a few doors down. And so really costly to fix. They have no insurance. Sometimes they're washing up into mangroves. Sometimes they end up on county property. Sometimes they're just, you know, run aground out in the bay and, and they become a hazard. Now across the state, a new dilemma. Squatters taking over such boats. I've seen some row literally rowing across the slough here. They come to shower. So we had to start locking the door, at which point one of the doors was kicked in. We have our suspicions as to what they're doing with the waste on a vessel that isn't able to operate. Um, and so that's a concern. According to state and local officials, it's at least a 90 day process and can cost an agency up to $15,000 to remove an abandoned or derelict vessel. Despite concerted efforts over the years, officials with Florida Fish and Wildlife say they still have nearly a thousand active investigations dealing with derelict vessels. Now affected boat owners could face potential criminal charges if they fail to comply with removal orders. Our biggest thing is let us know. If we don't know about the vessels, then we don't know where to necessarily look for them. So we ask the public to work with us, but also to be patient. In Manatee County, Aduria Chumba, Tan Tampa Bay. FWC says it often finds many of the boat owners are out of state or with limited means to take on the removal themselves. The agency does have a program in place to assist with removing vessels at no cost.